I study compensation and I specifically study compensation in nonprofit organizations. So my, my dissertation focuses on executive pay and I look across sectors. So I look at um, for-profit organizations, I look at nonprofit organizations, and I look at unions. And so that's the main area that I, that I study is what, what types of compensation practices are used in nonprofits, how does that differ from for-profits, and sort of understanding what are the most effective practices across these sectors. I was here as a Mylar and I got to know the faculty and I got to know their research. And I really came back because I wanted to work with them. So that was the main reason I came back is, is getting the chance to work with the people here. The faculty are great. I mean, everyone is willing to help you. Um, I've gone into people's offices and said, I'm struggling with this, can you help me? And everyone is willing to help you. And, and even, so in my area of interest, there's a few people who study it. And they're doing such interesting work in the, in the field and really willing to let you get on projects with them and help you figure out how to do your own projects. So, so yeah, the faculty here are probably, I mean, the mo some of the most famous people studying um, HR issues. So, so that is definitely another one of the top things about coming to Cornell. They allow you to w work on pretty much whatever you want. So I'm kind of in this interesting area where I study nonprofits and compensation. And it's not necessarily a business topic, it's not necessarily a labor topic or an economics topic, but I'm really able to study this, this sort of in-between area here and get the resources I need, get the support I need from the, from the faculty. And they really are supportive of me studying something that's kind of different and kind of unique. And I don't think that at other schools, I don't think they would provide you that. I think that you sort of have to study what, what people are working on in, in the school or what's, you know, what they think is gonna is the hot topic right now. And um, I think here at ILR, they allow you to work on what you're interested in. I came in with 12 people, and a lot of us are still really good friends. And we, um, it's good to have people to talk to when you're having like a hard day or working really hard or can't figure something out. And it's good after I just um, defended on Tuesday and we all went and celebrated on Tuesday. And so it was like a, all of us ILR people went out and it was really fun. So yeah, I think that's probably one of the best things about the program is, is the people that you'll meet. If I could tell anyone anything, I'd say one, it's, it's tough. I mean, going through a PhD program here or anywhere else is rigorous. I mean, they, you know, they're not going to let you get through the program without making sure that you know um, how to be an academic. And so I do think it's, it's tough and it's a lot of work. And so you should know that getting into the program that it, you're going to work hard for five years. I feel like pretty much most of my time or all of my time is spent either doing work or thinking about my work. But at the same time, you know when you get out of here you're going to be successful. So I, I feel like me as well as everyone else that, I've, that are coming out of the program are getting great jobs. Um, and so they really train you to be an academic and to be a successful academic. So you know you're going to work hard when you get in here, but you know you're, it's also going to, it's going to help you and you're going to get to where you want to be after this program. I'm going to be assistant professor in the labor school at Michigan State. So I start um, July 1st. So literally in the next few weeks, I'm heading out there to, to start my job.